I think it's time to let them know, George. Take a look down here. We bought, oh, oh that's got thorns on it. We bought an abandoned ranch with thorns. Ouch, oh my goodness, that hurt. You ready, old girl? I, yes. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to the camper. It's time. I hope you guys are ready too. Let's go to Florida. Day two, early morning. George up on the third floor, being crazy like usual. The chickens, well, they seem to be doing great. They had a great camp out. Look at that, they're already having their coffee in the morning. We're gonna get there today, ladies. Shredded tire, two and a half hours away from our destination. Two days driving. And it just so happens we pull over next to a smashed armadillo. Can't say this enough, I have Erie insurance. I pay for extra insurance for flat tires. For two hours we waited on Erie insurance. They didn't come and rescue us. But a local company, Rudy's Tire, did. The only one that would. Leave them an incredible online review. Make sure the world knows how incredible they are. Can't believe what they're doing for us. They're literally getting us back on the road. Head to Florida. You saved us. Psst. George. Psst. Are you ready to show everybody where our new home is? You're not? Because before we show you, we want to show you why. Why the hails would we buy where we bought? How's that uh, popcorn chicken, them chicken balls? Not tasty. How would the chickens feel about that? Are chicken allowed to have chicken? That's just so wrong. <laughs> but where we got it is the place that was most important to George. She wanted to make sure nearby was a... <clears throat> grocery store. Only 20 minutes. 20 minutes. We're in the middle of nowhere. Yet 20 minutes... We have our Walmart. It's in the middle of everywhere. Look at this. In Walmart, local Walmart, and Santa Claus calls me out. What did you say? I said, Jeremy, I'm a huge fan. George is out in the parking lot. Look oh at that. Gosh. Am I on the uh, <laughs> Am I on the naughty list or the good list this year? I think you're on the good list. Yes. I'm pretty sure, yes. Yes. One of the things we hopefully did well is we put ourselves in a central hub of all the major cities of Florida. So as you see Tallahassee, Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa, we're in the middle and about two hours away from all the major cities, all the major buying, all the major treasure hunting. One of the biggest selling points for us is that this is so close to the property. We're here on the Gulf. I think we might go do uh... Boy, that tide is really low right now. It's very, very low. What do you think? Should we go look for dolphins? How far away from the golf are we? 15 minute drive. We are literally in the Keys. Let's go see. Dolphins or sharks? What do you prefer? Both. Let's find both. What's that? First sighting of a crab claw. Uh-oh. George has crabs. We gotta get to the property, but before we do, did you see what the ornaments are made of on this giant, huge Christmas tree? Bobbers. Yeah, bobbers. Fishing bobbers. All of them, fishing bobbers. Fishing rope Bobbing and fishing bobbers. bobbers. You ready to go see the new home? Mm -hmm. Take a look down here. We bought, uh, Oh, that's got thorns on it. We bought an abandoned ranch. <sighs> With thorns. Ouch. Oh my goodness, that hurt. Look at these beautiful palms. Look, there's part of the fence property, but that's not the best part about this property, is it? What's the best part, in your opinion? Oh, it's a business part. Is you know me? which part. Is you me? ready? Is it me? Um, You ready to go for a ride? All right, let's go for a ride and let's find out what the best part is.
The best part is we are less than 30 seconds away from the local post office. And we're here every day. The post office is part of our daily lives. They have no idea how many thousands of packages. They're going to hate us. Yeah. Hate us. One of these boxes is ours. We just don't know which one yet. On second thought, George, you're right. You are. What am I right about? You are the most incredible thing about this place. See this oh. right here? Live shrimp. Live shrimp. That's you. 5'2". I'm a shrimp. Yeah, you're a shrimp. And you're live. While we wait for all the paperwork to get done, we're staying in the camper. So it's lacrosse, luxury light, touring edition. It's built for living out of. Let's just go take a peek. Now, we have done videos before on the camper. You can find those on the channel. But It's a bit crowded. It is um, until we can actually, there's my bed right there. Until we can actually get on the property and start building well we're gonna be a bit crowded so it's nice for living you just have to downsize everything what do we have back here yep. George's room and here we go here is the office Sunday dinner is in the crock pot George is ready to go see the property you ready George uh-huh yep looks like she's ready and She's the one that put dinner in there. Not sure what she's doing now. Awkward. Very, very awkward. One of the best parts that we haven't shared with you yet, we are at a campground that's less than one minute. Yeah, one minute around the corner from our property. How does it get any better than that? We buy property and we have a campground right around the corner. Pretty amazing. If you were one of the ones that guessed the 70 acre lot, you were 100% correct. correct. And this just came out of our $575 unit. The one I with think, the uh, gun parts? Yes, I think it's time to christen the property. There we go. This is now. Jay Bone makes it official. That's official. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scope out the property. We're gonna lay out the plans. We're gonna figure out exactly what we're gonna do with this abandoned ranch. Remember the former owners passed away. The story of this property gets a little bit more intense. George, you see this? We got, I think that's red, orange, white. We got like Wait, a Christmas Wait, there's a sign bow. down here. Okay. We love you, Granny Marie. Okay, huh. so basically what we've heard last year around this time right here on the property that we purchased somebody had a four-wheeling accident kid was on a four-wheeler flipped it over died right here on the side of the road in front of the property that's what these ribbons are so the parents died who owned the property then we had a death out front non-relatable the whole plan with buying this property was to actually take the camper onto the property, use the utilities that are already there. We have a well on the property. That kind of decreases price as far as water if the well water is good water. We have to have that tested, but we have utilities on still as far as electric, and then septic is on here somewhere. So what our goal is is to actually take the camper, we're gonna pull it into here, our realtor, Jenny, said that's the best thing to do. And then we're going to hey, tie... Jenny. We'll tie our septic into this line right here. So I'll have to put a T with an opening in here, which that'll be a piece of cake. We'll actually get water from right here, but we're going to have to put in a 30-amp service on the wall. So then what we're going to do, we're going to go into the house. Well, you know what? Let's just go into the house. We'll show you what we're going to do with the house. If you guys remember, that was the shotgun case. Oh, ah, that's haunted. You scared me. Okay. <laughs> now, here's what we're going to do. This entire place, everything from here.
here to everything. If you look around, I'm gonna turn the O-light on. I'm gonna give you a double pump. All of this is gonna be ripped out, gutted out. See this here, there's about five or six different stair steps up and down with concrete. Tripping hazards. Definitely the not level. Only thing that we're planning on keeping is we wanna restore the, the actual wooden stove. So that's what we're planning on keeping, the wooden stove. That'll go in a new the facility. Cow? Uh, the cow, Jenny, the you cow can, can have the cow. Would you like the cow? You can have the cow. You can keep them for yourself. <laughs> so what we're actually gonna do, everything in here that can be ripped out is gonna be ripped out, every wall. This is gonna be the temporary warehouse. We're building a 100 by 100 foot structure. We already have the steel structure locally. It'll be a 10,000 square foot warehouse with an efficiency apartment. That's season one. Season two, when we come back, we'll be building the actual custom home out of cedar trees. So this all becomes temporary warehouse. Everything is gonna be ripped out and gutted until the actual warehouse is built. And then this all disappears except for the wood stove. Although Jenny says she wants the cow. Here, come, come look at We'll the show cow. you what Jenny was talking about. Jenny wants the cow right here. Is that a cookie jar? That is a cookie it's jar. Oh, wait. Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, Any whoa, cookies whoa. in there? There's actually something in there. 1993. 1993. Must have meant something to somebody. Mm -hmm. Now it means something to Jenny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you all think I'm joking about stair steps with concretes on the floor. Look at this here. Here's another one. There's the size of my hand. This goes up to you the bathroom. You literally have to take a step up yeah. or a step down in every that, room. That's not the best part of this bathroom floor, though. Check this out, George. Linoleum. Linoleum. Transition. Tile. tile. Look at that. I love it. Hey, it doesn't get much better than that in Florida. What are we looking at? Look at over here. Oh, wow. This is most likely a sinkhole, but we're okay with that. We want it. Because we actually want it. It's the beginning of a beautiful pond for wildlife, future wildlife. So a lot of viewers have said, oh no, you have to watch out for sinkholes. You have to watch out for gators. You have to watch out for giant mosquitoes. How many giant mosquitoes have you seen so far? Zero. And Zero. we will not be here during mosquito season. We'll oh. only be here during the colder months, back up in Ohio in the summer. And we on purpose purpose want sinkholes. Now, I don't expect people to understand why, but that makes us more money as far as a business because of what we do for a living. So a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of times, well, the reality is a lot of times there's a lot of dimes out there telling a lot of dollars how to be dimes. <laughs> and when you're a dollar, you need dollars to tell you how to be a thousand dollars. So our goal is to turn this property into lots and lots of and lots of dollars. One of the best ways for this land to make money, you see that back there? That's a cell tower. If you know anything about cell tower leases on property, there is a lot of money to be made, a lot. And it's usually on a monthly basis. Unless you took a lump sum up front for a 50 year lease, Unfortunately, the original owners of this property took a lump sum, which is so much less, so, so, so much less than if they would have taken monthly lease payments. So a 50 year lease expires in 2058. While we won't make any money off of the actual lease from the cell tower, the future generations of what the Hales will make tens, if not hundreds, if not millions of dollars off the lease on this property. Another incredible reason why to buy this property. And we're full-time YouTubers. We got to have we connection. Need it. We and have to have the it. the mother load of towers. Take Huge. me to your leader. I just don't know how it gets any better than this. Look, I have this giant mature pine. Look how huge that thing is. And then I have my own little piece of paradise. I've got little ponds. I've got creeks running through the entire property. Look, George, right across the little pond, you see the palm tree? There's a palm tree right there. Beautiful. There's a palm tree right there. I'm gonna have hammocks all over this place. <laughs> I mean, wherever I go on the 70 acres, hammock. Place to rest. How fast do you think we should go well, when we're on the property? Once we secure the property, uh -huh. we get to inherit oh. this 10 mile per hour oh speed limit God. sign. And look at that. And it even comes with bullet We holes. know we're in the backwoods of Florida now. 
Check that out. You know what I'm gonna do? Pew, pew. I'm gonna go 11. <laughs> this is where George is gonna send me when I get in trouble. That is one chicken coop. Look at this. This chicken coop literally has a fenced in yard and oh, somebody has already claimed it. Somebody from NASA. What'd somebody say to you about your NASA hoodie in Walmart the other day? I'm like, oh, NASA? Did you work for NASA? I'm like, yeah, I used to. Best job ever. He's like, oh my God, babe, that's so cool. He's talking to his girlfriend. Um, George has never worked in NASA. But right now she's prepping the chicken coop. So this is one of two chicken coops completely and totally like sealed. There's, a, a nest there's a nesting box, nesting box. It needs a good cleaning. There's some more nesting boxes up there, but I have a feeling our chickens are gonna be happy. I mean, they get a, a gated front yard even. What chicken gets a gated front yard? Our hoity-toity chicken. George, come here. What I just found. Come here. What is this? Come here. This is abandoned. But it's got a high fence to keep gators out because okay. it is Florida. Look at this. I found a whole another structure. This is the chicken playpen. Oh my goodness. This is where they go to school. This could be the chicken this playpen. Is, this is chicken care. This is where chick care even. <laughs> this is where they go to play every day while we're working. And then we'll come pick them up at 5 o'clock and we'll come it's home for dinner. It's all fenced in. And for dinner, we'll have a crock pot chicken. Is this a proud moment? I just, I've dreamed about this since I was the age of three. And I've always, always wanted to have a cypress tree. But now on the 70 oh, yes? acres, we have a cypress tree grove. Check this out. It's like an entire village. Let's go find the, the highest cypress knee. Let's find the tallest and the thickest. Hear me? Yeah. A minute ago, you were just crying. What are you doing now? Oh, I had to take a knee. Cypress knee. Cypress knee. Ah, oh, I see what you did look there. At this, look at this. Right around from the Dad cypress Dad jokes, grove. even in Florida. Look at right around from the cypress tree. Look at that Ooh. beautiful palm tree. I love look me some palm, palm trees. Tree. Now, if I did want to timber, because we bought property, we made sure we bought property with mature trees on it. Mm -hmm. If I did want to timber, I could bring in an additional $50,000, 100000 I am not planning on timbering anytime soon. So that being said, the forest is saying as it is, I love trees. I don't hug them, but I love them. The back 40, and literally it's about 40 acres, has a full creek running through it. It is a beautiful creek. We're gonna look at it in a moment, but that area is gonna remain untouched. We've already invited Rob Lunkers TV out to go hunting with us. Some other friends are probably gonna be hanging out there as well. That all generates income. Your goal is always to make investments that generate more income. You want your purchase to make you more money. Make your money work for you, not you work for money. That is gonna work and pay for itself right there. Now what are you doing? I feel like I'm on Survivor. So right now I'm using the leaves to wipe my back end. <laughs> and on Survivor, to survive, you always have to build a shelter. This area here, this is where we have planned to build a 100 by 100, a 10,000 square foot facility. That will be our warehouse, two stories. It will also have an efficiency apartment. That's a one bedroom apartment, open plan for a kitchen and then a bathroom. And then at a minimum, we're putting four RV hookups in it as well. It's going to be absolutely amazing. That's what we're going to build this season while we're here during the winter. And then we will transition into a house next winter. Overall, the property looks like this with the back 40 right up through here, the front 40 right up through here. Here's the current buildings in the house. This right here, that's where the new warehouse is going to go. Check this out. Look at this. You see that there? Mm -hmm. That's deer. This is all deer. Now, the, the soil is so sandy in Florida, especially where we're at that they can just tear the ground up. The benefit for that is literally I can do all the landscaping just with a tractor and a front bucket. As a matter of fact, we're gonna go look at one today. So it's awesome for wildlife and it's awesome for landscaping. I like sandy soil. George, I think I found our first abandoned bounce house. George, your feet are right by a snake. Oh, 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 right by a snake. Don't scare me like that. What is that, a hose? Nope, that's a giant python. 
And our buddy Rob from Second Sense has taught us that you can catch giant pythons in Florida and turn them in for money. And we're hoping our 70 acres are filled with them because we're going to turn them all into the state, make a ton of cash there. Let's look under here. Let's That's see what my career snake. has become. Let's look and see if there's a snake. Anything? Anything? Uh, just Car a bunch parts. of abandoned yeah. stuff. A bunch of abandoned stuff. Unfortunately, because the property has been abandoned, a lot of people have been dumping garbage on the orange right here, that's where the new home will go with the expansion of the gator pond all the way here in a kidney shape with a covered porch and decking going down into the pond. You feel like you're in a paradise? I do. A little piece of paradise. Oh, man. What are these palm tree bushes behind you? What do you call these things? Tropical plants. Um, well, tropical plants for a tropical uh, female. I just need a pina colada. Uh, no pina colada? Virgin pina colada? Uh, let's keep walking down the trail. Not sure what it is about moss, but I love moss. I know what it is. I love it on the old oak trees. Yes. It makes Beautiful. them look vintage, and we love vintage old things. It makes them look so bearded and so... Unique. Unique with wisdom. I absolutely love it. It's one of the most beautiful things in Florida. One of the most, yeah, not the sure. most. What you, what you all blushing for? <laughs> what did you find now? <laughs> I didn't know we were getting a bonus motocross bike. Yeah. An abandoned motocross yeah. bike. Yeah. On our 70 acres. Check bonus. it out. Bonus. <laughs> Gonna have some fun. We're on the back 40 and I, I'm just in love. Uh, we saw this property the first time and I fell in love immediately. Not only is it perfect for making income, not only is it perfect for doing YouTube, not only is it perfect for being in the perfect location and getting to everywhere we need to go, but it's perfect as far as the landscape. We have our own creek running through the back. Look at all the cypress knees. You see them all, George? Uh huh. We have cypress groves everywhere. Look at all, just, just look up and down here. Look up and down here. This is all so wildlife. Pretty. Wildlife has been through all of this. Look at there on the ground. Wildlife has just, we are saturated with Florida wildlife. And with that comes some issues as well. I think there's an issue right down there. Let's go check it out. Whenever you buy a piece of property this huge and a piece of property that's been abandoned for a long time, people start getting on your property, especially when you have wildlife. You know what this is, George? Some type of feeder. This is a feeder. They were baiting the wildlife. Now for us, we're not going to bait the wildlife to shoot them. We're going to bait the wildlife to shoot them, film them. We actually want to film them for the ASMR channel. This is just an entire oasis in the back of the property, which is just gonna be perfect for turtles and reptiles and you name it. If you can think of it, this is gonna be the place where we escape to to film for what the ASMR. The back 40 right through here with the creek flowing through and the branches here, this will remain undeveloped and this can generate quite a bit of income with selling hunts and this will be our getaway. This will be our escape for actually creating the ASMR. Here's the creek that runs right through two branches of the creek, here and up here. We have to go look over there. I see something amazing. So we, we just found this makeshift bridge in part of our creek. We're gonna cross the creek. We're gonna go see what's over there. Let's see if I can even make it. All right, careful. Hopefully a gator doesn't come up and snap me. <laughs> I think I got this. You got this, boo boo. You got this. Got it. And if a gator comes, got that too. This is the biggest and widest cypress tree I have ever seen in my life. Jeremy, have Help. you seen this thing? Help! Where are you? Help! George! <laughs> Help! Look how huge this thing is. You found a clubhouse here, here, already? Here, here, give me the camera. Give me the camera. Look at this. It's hollowed out. It goes straight up. This is amazing. Here's the best part about the property. 
We chose this location to make sure we could get to every other location. And the state is making plans to make sure that their toll road that gets you to every location, all the great beaches in Florida, is probably, not 100% yet, but probably coming straight through and guess whose property it's going to be next. Now you're thinking, no, I wouldn't want a toll road right next to the property. Well, it's not going to be right next. It's going to be a couple miles away. But that means tourism. And tourism means prices of value of land go up, way up. So hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of property all of a sudden turns into millions of dollars worth of property. This could be our greatest investment ever.